So this is me eating the last bagel that I brought home with me from my trip to Montreal. Today is an exciting day because today I fly out to Montreal. A friend and I are going together for the week to go see a Hosier concert, but I haven't packed anything yet and I've still got to do laundry. We should get going. Also, it is super, super smoky outside. Well, not super, super smoky outside. Pretty smoky. And the sun, can't see it right now, but it's right there. And it is orange from all the smoke. It does actually look kind of cool. The morning of day one, I did laundry, ate a peach, mm. got distracted by reading this Enneagram book. It's like a personality test. Showered, of course I packed. And by the time all that was done, it was time to head to the airport. When it's red, it's recording. Oh, <laughs> I, was, I was going to bring my one stones. But I haven't weatherproofed them yet, so I'm oh. going to play weatherproof them. I haven't either. Yeah. We landed in Montreal pretty late. I think it was like 10 o'clock. And we stayed in a very typical, very old Montreal style apartment. Find some food. This is Peyton, by the way, That's and so she found this poutine place that was open 24 hours a day. And we were both pretty hungry after the day of travel, so we decided to go walk there and test it out. Classic. Classic. Whatever this is. I don't remember. Yeah. What's this? This one? Seven and a half kilometers? Oh, and yeah. something I forgot to mention about last night. After we got poutine, we ended <laughs> up just walking around the streets for like three hours. Just catching up and talking about life, you know, the way that friends do. Mm, ten Back hours ago? Yeah. yeah, so cute. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. So one of my most favorite things about going to Montreal are these bagels. My mom is actually born and raised in Montreal, and I still have family there, so when I would go back as a kid, I would always eat these bagels, so these have a special place in my heart. So of course, every time I go to Montreal now, I need to get them. Perfect. Yay. You did so oh. Thank you. After eating some bagels and drinking some tea, we did actually end up wandering out again because Peyton wanted to try and find a journal or a book, but she wanted to find an English book and there weren't very many English book options in downtown Montreal, so pretty soon after we came back home because I had schoolwork to do on the computer anyways, and since Peyton is graduated and she is a full adult with a real job, she doesn't have schoolwork anymore, so she occupied her time with some Sudokus, which foreshadowing, apart from bagels, Sudokus were another theme of this trip. You'll see what I mean later. So today's the day of the concert. Our pre-concert snack consisted of Saint-Vietard bagels, butter, eggs, lettuce, tomatoes. I think I might have put cream cheese on mine. Anyways. Pre-concert snack. Good? Approved. <laughs> I don't know how to do this, Peyton. <laughs> Here, maybe? Yeah, that's better. Is this good? Good enough? Oh yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> okay, I'm just putting on my patty pack. 
It's recording already. No, I know. Okay. <laughs> okay, so since this is the only full length mirror we have. <laughs> like, can you see what I look like? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Should we check? <laughs> and. Yeah, okay, it's a little cute. Be ethereal, beautiful beings. Yes. <laughs> Station de la Concorde. We got to the venue two hours early. So basically, for two hours, we just sat on the ground and did Sudoku's from Peyton's dollar store Sudoku book. <laughs> Finally, they let us inside to this little waiting room area thing, but it was so loud in there with the amount of people that Peyton and I decided to put on some calming music with her oh-so-fancy noise-canceling AirPod headphone things. But the wait and the freakishly loud waiting room was all worth it in the end because we got very close to the stage. I'm realizing that this video is getting a little long. So next time we run into some trouble in the metro station on our way to go visit a family friend. What there, happened? There was a fire alarm in the LRT station. We visit some more of our favorite food places and Peyton even makes a friend. <laughs>